The Rose Bowl victory celebration continues, and plenty of new adventures in Southern California await. All that and more coming up after the bumper. And who's got it better than us? Last time on Jersey Head University. Big yards, three Michigan tight ends in the ball game. They handed to Corum again and makes the cut. First down. Spins and scores. Blake Corum puts Michigan on top in overtime. Here we go. No more timeouts to take here. Game on the line. It's Williams in motion. Low snap. No race to I can't believe it. We just won the fucking Rose Bowl. Yeah, we fucking did. <laughs> hey, who's got it better than us? Nobody. Woo! It's great to be a Michigan Wolverine. Go blue, go blue. Woo! So this was a super, super fun day. Uh, we kicked the shit out of Alabama. This is probably one of the best, if not the best game I've ever been to live. The fans were all into it, but as fun as it's been, I'm also super tired. I think I'm losing my voice. I'm gonna go back home and uh, sleep it off. All right, signing off from the Rose Bowl. Peace. The next day. So we got the Rose Bowl win. Mission accomplished. Got what we came out to do. Now we're uh, meandering the greater Los Angeles area. Right now I'm at the, uh, whatchamacallit. Damn. Oh, Santa Monica Pier. kidding when I say this um, if I got one nickel for every time I saw a Michigan fan or every time uh, I shouted go blue or every time someone shouted go blue at me I'd have a, I'd have a buttload of nickels So earlier we were at the uh, Santa Monica and now made it over to um, Venice Beach. This is where Arnold um, and a lot of famous bodybuilders would have lifted weights back in the day and prepped for their, uh, their competitions. This is... Yeah, okay. Why?
Last day in Southern California. Um, it's been a really, really fun trip, but I am absolutely exhausted because uh, I need to get home and rest. Cause something's big's coming up. You guys know what that is. Something big is coming up. But before that, got a couple of hours, so uh, might uh, hit up USC and uh, SoFi Stadium. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie, SoFi is a pretty cool stadium. From the outside, you can tell it's really, really new and it's really, really cool. Looks like they've got some limited jerseys on sale. It's on sale because it's the older style. This is the limited version of the Vapor Untouchable. It's actually a little bit better than the current Vapor Fuse limited jerseys because these are stitched. Uh, the newest line of limited jerseys still have the twill that's heat pressed on, but it's not sewn on afterwards, depending on how you treat it could come loose in the wash after a while so apparently this is only the upstairs portion and there's a whole giant section downstairs let's go check it out So I did find the jerseys behind me, just replica jerseys and limited jerseys. They do have retail uh, elite jerseys in the back, but nothing game worn or game issued. So we did find one elite jersey. We've got the Matthew Stafford Vapor Untouchable. Uh, this is not the current Vapor Fuse chassis. This is the previous one, worn through 2022. Got that triangular grill wall familiar with. Little Rams patch on the chest here. So it looks like this layer is all printed, but it looks like it is sewn onto yellow colored tackle twill. Looks like the back here, this is all heat pressed. Love this number here, this gradient kind of faded design. You've got the number nine, little pattern inside here as well. Everything stitched, number fades a little bit. Of course, with all elite jerseys, you've got this Cordura fabric. Size 40. Let's check out the back really quick. Yep, good old number nine, Matthew Stafford, for former Detroit Lion. That's how the horns look like on the back. You've got the name stitched onto a nameplate. Of course, the number nine, and that old triangular pattern that we see on the Vapor Untouchable jerseys. Retails for about $370 at the shop. Of course, if you decide to look online, Always be careful with fake jerseys. 
And yeah. It's the Matthew Stafford Vapor Untouchable Elite Jersey. All right, so just left the equipment room. It's the name of the uh, Rams slash Chargers Pro Shop. They had a lot of cool stuff, but unfortunately did not have any game worn or issue jerseys. But that's okay because we are always on the hunt and we saw a lot of other cool stuff that we like. So yeah, signing out from uh, SoFi Stadium. Been getting lots of love from everybody. Um, you know, some Bama fans congratulated us after the win. Um, I've got USC fans on campus today <laughs> congratulating me on the win. So, lots of love, lots of love. Made it inside Allison Felix Field. Uh, this is where the USC Trojans uh, have track and field. I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, track stadiums at the college level, but I mean, this one looks very nice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Michigan fan, but you gotta, you gotta give credit to where credit is due, right? Women's tennis, women's basketball. So this Heisman Trophy right here is uh, for OJ Simpson. Funny story is uh, a little while back I was watching an episode of Pawn Stars and they actually, some guy brought in OJ's uh, Ford Bronco and actually tried to sell it off. The crazy thing is, you know, the car's from the early 90s, but it's only got a couple of hundred or a couple thousand miles on it because when he got the car, it was brand spanking new. So USC has eight Heisman trophies uh, in total. Also don't know if that includes Reggie Bush's vacated Heisman. Um, but regardless, it's still a lot more than Michigan. So Michigan only has three Heisman Trophy uh, winners. I shouldn't say three because a lot of schools don't have any. It's Tom Harmon in 1940, uh, Desmond Howard in 1991, and Charles Woodson, of course, in 1997. It's a pretty cool bookstore, all things considered, but uh, yeah, not buying USC merch. <laughs> this walkway here is so reminiscent of a, of a, like a Southern California like university setting. When they say Michigan versus everybody, I think that everybody part of that statement is getting smaller and smaller. I just passed by a very nice couple uh, that are big time Notre Dame fans and said that they'll be rooting for us. It makes me curious now, Michigan versus everybody. Like who else, who else is part of everybody? Because that list is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, I think it's gonna be all Michigan by the time we get to Houston, we'll see. Definitely getting every, uh, getting every last bit out of this trip. So we've gone to the Rose Bowl. Now we're about to head into the Coliseum. Oh wow, this is beautiful. If you're a college football fan, you know that USC is a blue blood um, and an absolute powerhouse of a team in most years. They've got 11 national championships, eight Heisman winners, and just a ton of quality wins. They've played in the Rose Bowl more than any other Pac-12 team, 
and I believe they have a winning record against every Big Ten team, um, including Michigan, unfortunately. Use the middle lane to continue on to Cadillac Avenue. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see UCLA's campus. I'm a little bit bummed since, um, you know, we saw everything that USC. But the good news is we've already seen UCLA's football stadium because for those that don't know, they actually play at the Rose Bowl. It's a completely different vibe during UCLA games. It does not get filled up. Um, they usually cover parts of the stadium because it's kind of empty sometimes. Um, but that's where they play. That was probably one of the fastest security checks ever. I do have a tradition. Um, usually if I fly somewhere that has an in and out make it my priority to eat there first. And the reason is uh, twofold. One, I love in and out burger. Can't find it in the Midwest. Uh, reason number two, I'm a bit of a straggler. And uh, usually on the, uh, the way out, I'm in a hurry and, uh, and miss my opportunity to get in and out. Rose Bowl, kick Alabama's butt, and we get to ride home in style. First class, baby. flights in all seriousness oh it sucks really sucks it's about 5 a.m. in Chicago right now I'm exhausted gonna call an uber go home sleep it off and uh, <laughs> do it all over again in 24 hours <laughs> one more thing who's got it better than us nobody and that concludes our trip in Southern California. It was one heck of a journey. I'm so glad I went. Even outside the game, there were so many cool things to see. But I hinted at something big. That's right. Going to the national championship, baby. So we'll catch up with everybody in Houston. But until then, stay safe. Be blessed. See you guys soon.